Hello, my name is Mitch Ertl uh, with Sigma Computing. Today I'm going to show you how to use Partner Connect for Databricks to connect to Sigma. So the first step is getting our um, Google Chrome incognito window. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up on screen here. I'm going to navigate to my test in instance of Databricks. As I navigate here, it's going to go ahead and ask me to sign in. I'll provide my credentials. As you come into the Databricks UI, if you um, move your cursor over here to the left, the menu bar will expand. If we go down to the bottom here, there's an icon for Partner Connect. We're going to go ahead and select that. From there, this will take you to all of the different uh, partners that uh, Databricks has partnered with, um, that they have um, partnered solutions with. Um, we're going to scroll down to Sigma, select Sigma. And then from there, we're going to choose um, which catalog we want to give um, access to Sigma within Partner Connect. So we'll choose Hive Metastore. And you can see the permissions granted on the Hive Metastore are usage and create. Go ahead and hit next. And now we're going to um, select a schema. You can see we already have um, a SQL endpoint that is up and running. So we'll leave that up. And then for the schema, um, we can click into that. We have our default schema. Um, metadata table and test data. I'm going to navigate to the test data. Go ahead and add that. We'll see along with um, usage and create on the catalog, we're also going to be uh, providing usage select and read metadata on the Sigma test data. So we'll go ahead and hit next here. Now, um, we're, Sigma's going to, well, Databricks is actually going to generate, um, auto generate a token for us to use within Sigma. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then we'll see that this is um, my email. We can also look at the connection details. So here's the user that's been created. Here's the personal access token. And then here is the underlying uh, details for the connection to that warehouse that we had um, shown previously. So go ahead and hit connect to Sigma. This is then gonna take you into um, a screen that will allow you to sign up for Sigma and create a trial instance. Um, I'm not going to walk through that, but pretty much you would give a um, company name and then say agree to terms and conditions and go ahead and hit continue. Um, from there, you'll go into the Sigma interface and deal with all the functionality that we have there. Thank you very much for watching this video.